friends, it's Living Gun Country Girl, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys our shelf mantle makeover. So we pulled down everything from Christmas, and we are in the process of cleaning everything and getting it ready. But let me flip the camera and show you guys what it looks like here. Um, I did a little bit of work, but let me show you guys what it's going to look like before and after. Okay, so this is our shelf area, mantle area. Let me see if I can step back and get a full view going on. Um, it has all these built-ins, and we had that nativity scene up here at Christmas, if you guys saw my Christmas home tour. And it's just always had a bunch of stuff in it, and I want to, like, I, I love all this stuff here. Um, I redid this cabinet, and we pulled off the glass doors, and I painted it and everything. We have this huge stereo, which I hate this, like, boom box and everything over here. But, you know, it is what it is. And then I looked forever for baskets, and I couldn't find anything but these ones because there's one behind here that matched. So there's some things that I would still change. However, living in a small town, you only have so many resources, and you got to do what you got to do with what you have. So um, this is what we have done with it, and... I definitely can't complain. Like I said, it works for us. We're able, the kids are able to put all their, you know, videos and games and everything in here. So I like that part of it. Um, the other, you know, having the big old baskets for blankets are nice too when it's cold. Um, and then our house isn't even clean here. This is showing you real life. So what I've done over here is I actually started on this section already. I went through, dusted everything, cleaned it all up, and then I like rearranged this little section. I took these books and I covered them with this craft paper that I had. And if you look closely, it has like little stripes on it. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know. So it has like little stripes on it. So it's kind of cute because it's not just plain butcher paper. You can actually see these little stripes on it. Um, so I took and I covered these books. I saw somebody saying like if you flip the books and you just see the white, it kind of looks cool too. Um, we had this huge basket full of rocks in here. It was a glass jar and I decided to replace it for this basket. My husband's worried kids are going to come up and grab them and play with them, which we have had them do and throw them and break them. Hopefully they won't do it again. But um, it's just something that we've had for quite a few years. With his uh, previous job, he did some natural history stuff. So, yeah, we have those all over the house. And then we have this um, little area up here with some things. He has some toys up here that we need to actually put some shelves up in my son's room so we can get these collectibles off of here. But um, this is where I need to replace and kind of put some new frames in that are a little better, I don't know, suited for our style of house now. And, like, the same thing up here. I just have these black frames, which are really pretty on the wall and stuff, but I kind of feel like this area needs to have different frames. So... Um, I didn't buy any 8x10s today when I went shopping. I bought some 5x7s and 4x6s. So I'll try those ones. But I'm looking right now, and I bought a lot of vertical, not um, horizontal. So, And they can't be flipped. And I'm seeing all horizontal pictures right now. <laughs> but that's it. And then this whole area is just, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be a work in progress because I am really, really stuck right now with what to do. Um, that star will go back in the kids' bathroom or in my office. I can't, I think I, it's been in the kids' bathroom, but I think it was in the office last. Um, and then I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. <laughs> and then this side, I dusted everything, but I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with like some of the picture frames. And again, like, do I want to cover some of the books? I didn't cover any of them, but I did add a couple, you know, like, extra books to bring some of the stuff up but these are some pretty big cubbies and like tall so it's kind of hard sometimes to fill them in without making them look empty but at the same time making them not look cluttered so um, really the only books you can see on this shelf are the ones at the very top and it's so far up there I don't think it's such a big deal so I'm not too worried but I definitely want to cover these books in the middle um, probably wrap them with some twine or something and then I'm debating what I want to do here. I, like I said, I'm going back and forth. I bought a couple of things, so I'm going to start playing with that and seeing what we can do for this area to make it look pretty. Okay, so here is the final redo of our little alcove cubby area and the mantle. 
Um, I have gone back and forth on this lantern, if I like it or not. There's actually twinkly lights and it looks really pretty at night when it's lit up. Um, and I was thinking maybe if I can find like a little bird or something to put in there with it, like a little white ceramic bird or something. But um, I debated between that and a picture or like a saying or something. My daughter really likes it, so I said, all right, we'll leave it. <laughs> um, but this is what we ended up doing. If you didn't see my haul video, I did a haul video showing where I bought most of the stuff, but I can kind of quickly say things if you want. As I go through the video, I will do that. So um, I went through and I ended up just moving a lot of stuff around just from throughout the house. I will show you and tell you where I got new stuff. This was all things we had around the house. I simply wrapped these books in some brown burlap or not burlap, some brown paper that I had that had some like little tiny stripes on it. So that way kind of gives it like a more neutral look. And then I saw where somebody said to flip the books also to, you know, kind of make a more neutral, which is funny because that one book has gray pages. But um, and then I kept these little Bibles because there's like old antique Bibles and stuff. So I kept them facing out because they look really pretty. I had that pot, just moved it over here. I did the same thing up here, just covered those books, moved some things around. Um, I did buy that frame up there with the burlap ribbon and just put, it used to be a black frame there, just put that there. So that was one of the things I purchased. Now over here on the mantle, I purchased the gray candlestick. I made these ones with birch paper and a dollar store vase. I did those a long time ago. I kind of told some people, I told you guys about it in my Christmas decor and stuff. I did purchase that lock right there, had the rocks, pot, bought that plant that's in there, had everything else from that, um, had the lantern. It's been outside, it's been everywhere. So that weather look is actually true weather look. <laughs> um, and then I bought the white candlestick over here. And I bought those both from Bell's Outlet. Um, had the H, had the amethyst geode there. And again, just wrapped the books with the brown paper just to kind of blend that in. And then um, over here, I really didn't change anything. I moved some stuff from the other side to this side, like the big vase, the Chinese vase and stuff. Um, and then I just moved some of the pictures around. These are pictures of my mom and my mom and dad when they got married and then some really good friends of ours um, goofing off. <laughs> and up here was kind of the same thing. I brought the spheres from another spot. They'd been pushed to the back, brought them to the front and moved the picture over here. I love that picture of my son where he doesn't have his front teeth. It's so cute. And then the same thing, I moved the vase, the Chinese vase, and brought it forward some. For this spot, I debated covering these books, but I really like a lot of these books um, just because they're like, you know, they talk, say Egypt and Asia and Maya and all the different civilizations. So um, even though it's covered with the picture frame, it still looks really cool even when it's not just because they're really pretty coffee table books. So we kept uh, kept those ones the way they were. Um, I bought this frame at Marshall's and it was only $3.50. So I just moved out, It was um, that picture was up here, but just in a different frame, and I just felt like that kind of gives it more country look to it. And then over here, I took um, a lot of these, these like spheres that we had, the rock spheres that we had from before, that were in a glass vase, and I put them in this like kind of basket that I already had, and put them, brought them over here. I do need to find something, because the books are on are small, and so it's tipping back, so I do need to find something to support it in the back, but I haven't found something that put there yet. Um, I had the baskets. I had the blankets. I still have those two pictures. I have to hang on the wall. I took them down at Christmas to put Christmas stuff up, but I haven't put them back up. And then this is the same thing. I just cleaned it out, left the books, and then um, moved this ammonite here. It was stuck in the back too behind some stuff, brought it to the front. So that is our new um, cleaned out and redecorated, reorganized, whatever you want to call it, bookshelf and little mantle nook thing <laughs> like because it's not like a true fireplace mantle and it's deep it's always interesting trying to figure out how to do it i did buy a glass in my hall you saw i bought a glass mirror like window looking pane 
um, but it just didn't quite look right. It wasn't proportionately the right size. So I took it out. Um, and then, like I said, I went back and forth on this lantern and it might be something I just have in here for spring. Cause it's like with like, you know, the bird and the plant, and then I might end up switching it out later. I don't know. We'll see, but, um, I'm enjoying it for now. If anything, at least it's clean and dusted, which is wonderful. And, um, let's give you guys a little view here. Um, so that's, that is it. That's our little nook area in our living room. My daughter's just playing on her phone and everybody else is busy doing things. <laughs> but I'm glad, like I said, to at least have it dusted and cleaned because I don't know when the last time I did that was. It was pretty gross up there. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions for, you know, other ideas to put up in there. I literally scoured through Pinterest and was trying to find stuff and just couldn't find something that worked because of, the depth and the size of it. So um, there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, you know, just comment below and say you enjoy seeing these like home decor videos. Um, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And we'll see you guys all again real soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye. Mm -hmm.